The General Intelligence Directorate Arabic, Jaz al al Gihaz al Mukhabarat al Amma, often referred to as the Mukhabarat Egyptian Arabic, al al Mukhabarat is an Egyptian intelligence agency responsible for providing national security intelligence, both domestically and transnationally, with a counterterrorism focus. The GID is part of the Egyptian intelligence community, together with the Office of Military Intelligence Services and Reconnaissance Egyptian Arabic, Adat Almkabrat Alabit Walasta Idarat El Mukabarat El Habia Well Istitla and National Security Agency Egyptian Arabic, Qutar Alam Altni Keta El Amn El Watani. In July 2013, General Muhammad Ahmed Farid Al Tahami was appointed head of the Egyptian intelligence apparatus, instead of Muhammad Rafat Shahata, who was appointed by Muhammad Morsi in August 2012. History The decision to set up an Egyptian intelligence service was taken by President Gamal Abdel Nasser in 1954, and placed under the command of Zakaria Mohiuddin. The agency's importance rose when NASA assigned its command to Salah Nasser, who held the post of director of the GID from 1957 to 1967 and thoroughly reorganized the agency. Under Nasser's supervision, the GID relocated to its own building and established separate divisions for radio, computer, forgery and black operations. To cover the agency's expenses, NASA set up Al NASA Company, ostensibly an import-export firm, as a front organization. He played a very important role helping Algeria, southern Yemen and many Arab and African states gain independence. Although the Egyptian Foreign Ministry was officially responsible for foreign affairs, GID initiated and aided many Arab and African movements for independence as a part of Gamal Abdel Nasser's anti-imperialist policies. Nasser established good relations with other intelligence agencies across the globe, which helped providing Egypt with wheat and establishing industries such as Al Nasser Company for motor cars. One of his constructions is the Gezira Tower in Cairo. For several years the name of GID director was a secret only known to high officials and government newspapers' chief editors. However, Major General Omar Suleiman, who was the head of the GID from 1993 to January 2011, was the first one to break this taboo. His name was published before he himself became a known face in media after being envoyed by former Egyptian President Mubarak to Israel, USA and Gaza on several occasions. On 31 January 2011, Major General Murad Mawafi was declared the director of GID, after Omar Suleiman was appointed as a vice president of Egypt and then resigned after former President Mubarak had to step down during the Egyptian Revolution. He was later replaced by Mohammad Rafat Shahata. In July 2013, as a result of 2012-13 Egyptian protests, Mohammad Rafat Shahata was sacked by interim president Adli Mansour and was replaced by General Mohammad Ahmed Farid. Topic: <laughs> Achievements. In spite of the rule that says Success in the intelligence world is a buried secret while failure is a worldwide scandal." The GID did achieve many successes a few of which were released and dramatized in Egyptian TV and cinema. The GID states that it managed to plant an Egyptian agent among Jewish immigrants to Israel. That agent, Rifat al-Gamal, managed to live 18 years in Israel without being discovered. In those years, he established a network of spies in various fields of the Israeli community, though this is contradicted by various Israeli sources, which claim that Rifat was a double agent and helped the IDF to win the Six-Day War. In 1970 the GID managed to hunt an Israeli oil rig while being shipped from Canada to Sinai occupied at that time. 
clandestine GID agents and frogmen succeeded in tracing the oil rig to Abidjan, Côte d'Ivoire, and planted sets of explosives, had them detonated and crippled the rig. Ironically, this was done while the city was full, not only of Mossad agents protecting the oil rig, but also while it was full of CIA agents who were guarding the NASA astronauts during their visit to Côte d'Ivoire. This operation was published in 1985 under the name, al Hafa Operation. It was supervised at that time by GID Director Armin Howidi Perhaps a major success of the GID was handling the Egyptian strategic deception plan, which was carried out from January 1970 to October 1973 and aimed to conceal the Egyptian plans to launch massive operation to free occupied Sinai on 6 October 1973 starting the October War. The plan included planting false information and hidden implied data in Egyptian President Sadat's speeches and newspapers' articles. For example, the GID prepared the military operations and evacuated complete sections of Cairo hospitals to be ready for receiving war casualties. This evacuation that took place few days before the war started, was done after declaring false information that those hospitals were infected with tetanus. The plan included a major operation whose details are still not published. This operation aimed at getting detailed information of American spy satellites covering the Middle East, by knowing exact trajectories and timing of those satellites the GID prepared complicated logistic movement schedules for all Egyptian military units to avoid moving mass troops in timings where they could be spotted by satellites. Gumar al Shawin, who used to provide the Mossad with false information from 1967 to 1973, he also used to get the advanced transmission devices from the Mossad and give it to the GID. During the 1973 war with Israel, the GID spied on Mossad weeks prior to the surprise attack on 6 October 1973. The information derived allowed the director and his associates to identify the weakest points on the Israeli front line. A suicide mission to divert the Israeli counterattack was initiated to halt Israeli movements into mainland Egypt. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Director of the General Intelligence The Director of the General Intelligence serves as the head of the Egyptian General Intelligence Service, which is part of the Egyptian intelligence community. The Director reports to the President. The Director is a civilian or a general or flag officer of the armed forces appointed by the President. The current Director is Major General Abbas Kamal, while the Deputy Director is Nasser Fahmi. Topic List of Directors Zakaria Mohiuddin, nineteen fifty four to nineteen fifty six Ali Sabri, nineteen fifty six, nineteen fifty seven Salah Nasser, nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty seven Armin Howidi, nineteen sixty seven to nineteen seventy Mohammed Hafiz Ishmael, nineteen seventy Ahmed Kamal, nineteen seventy Kareem Abdulrahman L. Lethi, nineteen seventy to nineteen seventy three Ahmed Ishmael Ali, nineteen seventy three, nineteen seventy four Ahmed Abdul Salam Torfiq, nineteen seventy four, nineteen seventy five Kamal Hassan Ali, nineteen seventy five to nineteen seventy eight Muhammad Saeed El Mahi, nineteen seventy eight to nineteen eighty one Muhammad Fuad Nasser, nineteen eighty one to nineteen eighty three Muhammad Rifat Jibril, nineteen eighty three to nineteen eighty six Amin Nama, nineteen eighty six to nineteen eighty nine Omar Nagm, nineteen eighty nine to nineteen ninety one 
Noor Edina Fifi 1991 Omar Suleiman 1993 Murad Mawafi 2011 Muhammad Rafat Shahata Muhammad Farid 2013-2014 Khalid Fawzi 2014-2018 Abbas Kamal 2018-present Topic See also Mukhabarat disambiguation List of worldwide intelligence agencies